Many thanks for being there. We now tell you that magistrates in South Africa have threatened to go on strike over the judicial pay gap between magistrates and judges. According to the association representing 800 magistrates, its members want the pay gap to be closed. For the past years, magistrates have not received any increment, according to the Association of Regional Magistrates of South Africa. The association emphasized that their roles and duties have changed since 2008, and for that, they will also be suing the commission and the president. And now to discuss this, I'm being joined by an attorney with the University of Johannesburg's Law Clinic, Elton Romeo Hart. Thank you so much, Elton, for joining us on the news. Good afternoon and good afternoon to the viewers up in the West. All right. Now, magistrates, according to what we understand, are planning to go on strike over the salary gap between them and the judges. Is their plea valid? And how does this pay gap affect individuals in terms of the performance of their duties? No, indeed. So I think there is a big gap between what magistrates and the remuneration for magistrates and that for judges. Obviously, the responsibility differs also, but I think they do have a valid claim because for many, many years, they have not received any increment or an increase in their salaries. Their salaries is set, and that's what they get as a magistrate. So for the magistrates now to take this plea up, of course, what you know in South Africa is that most of the cases, maybe 70% uh, of all cases, normally starts in magistrate's courts and in regional courts, and it finishes there. It does not go to high court. It's only these high profile cases. And then you look at the split of resources. Judges get more resources than magistrates. That's undoubtedly so because a judge has got a clerk and a secretary, while a magistrate, he has to type his judgment by himself. And if you sit in a bail court, which sits from half past eight in the morning till four o'clock in the afternoon, every day of the week, when are you actually going to do your bail judgments? It means it's over weekends. They do not get compensated for overtime. So I feel magistrates have a valid plea, but the plea should not that the salaries or the increment that they're looking for should be equal to judges. And I think that's also what they say. They don't want an equal pay scale, but also in South Africa, you need to look also at the level of experience in your that a person brings to the post to actually do the jobs. Well, you, you talked about um, resources not being provided uh, during the course of the jobs or the tasks they have to take. So when you mention resources aside being paid for extra hours they have to spend, uh, what uh, are you referring to? Like what I said, like a judge in the high court will have a judge's clerk and a secretary, while a magistrate doesn't have that luxury. Maybe the chief magistrate at a magistrate's court will have a secretary, and if push comes to a shove, a, a magistrate will have to go to that secretary maybe to help type. But most of the time, magistrates have to type up their own judgments. They have to do all their admin work. They have to administer their, their court role by themselves, while the judge's clerk assists with the managing of the court role. And in magistrate's court, the court roles you'll get on an ordinary day that there's 40 cases on a court role in magistrate's court. While in, in, in a judge's court, you might find one or two matters on the court role. Unless you are in motion court, you might find 20 matters. But that's the same for magistrates court. You find 40 matters on the motion for throw. So judges are overworked. That's undoubtedly so. And obviously they do have a case to say, listen, yeah, we need to be looked at because our benefits. And you should know judges also get that reset period in the year. It's somewhere in March, somewhere in June, July, somewhere in September, and again in December. Magistrates don't get that. They have to take from their annual leave while they get recess to actually do their judgments where they don't sit in court, magistrates must be in court all the time. Hmm. That's quite interesting and very um, elaborate. Now, should the strike go ahead, what negative impact do you think this would have on the judiciary and, of course, court processes? Obviously, the judiciary, and I'm talking about the magistrates specifically, they work hand in hand with the NPA, the investigating or the law enforcement agencies. If, if the judges or the magistrates go on strike, it means there's no presiding officer that can preside over matters. Matters will have to be postponed, and then you know the story that they say justice delayed is justice denied. So cases will not, then you'll have backlogs in court. So cases will take much, much longer. Witnesses might disappear. Then you won't get justice for victims. People become uninterested in the cases because already the court rolls in magistrate's courts is so clocked that you will find a trial date maybe six, seven months down the line. You see what's in the U.S. case, there was a high court that was blocked out, and that case is sitting every day. So that's just... It shows you, it already illustrates that they can do that in the high court, but you can't do that in the magistrate's court where you say one magistrate 
is just designated to hear certain things. They've tried with backlog courts, but then you get trials in backlog courts. There's 14 trials on a court row, hmm. which is humanly impossible to uh, okay, before I let you go, Elton, I'd like to find out, um, for a couple of years now, the magistrates' uh, salaries or, uh, of course, take-home pay have not been increased. I'd like to find out, what about the judges? Have their take-home pay been increased in a couple of years? You must remember, our judges is appointed by the president. So their um, the remuneration scale is a little bit more, um, like, say, better. Okay. If you get to a judge, remember, when you retire as a judge, you retire with pension, Lots of benefits. You retire as a judge. A magistrate retires. He doesn't retire with those. He still has to pay for his medical aid. He has to pay for certain things while the judge gets that extra perk. So that is the difference that you have. And obviously there is, I think, um, the difference between an entry-level judge and a sort of half, a mid to senior magistrate. I think there could be easily 30 to 40 percent difference in the salary that they get. Okay, so that would mean that um, these are the disparities or the issues that the magistrates will hope that the government would um, need to address to close the gap. Well, uh, Elton Romeo Hart, thank you so much for talking to us.